So I've been talking to you about 10 things that an, a- an athlete can have uh, that don't require talent, and it's a choice. And so we over that, we've gone over the, these concepts here, these thoughts. Being on time, that's a choice. If you're late, probably not going to be good. How can you ever be successful if not everybody's there? Uh, being on time and, not, and being late is selfish. You, you, you're, you're disrespecting everybody else on the team. Work ethic. That's a choice. Do I choose to work ethic? It's an ethic. That's not something, not, not a daily thing that you happen to choose every day. But work ethic means it's developed a culture, a mindset in you that you, you, you have a work ethic. You come to work. He comes to work. You know, you know that player that's always ready to work. That's all, you don't want to go against them because they're just always go hard. Effort. That's a choice. Do I bring the effort or do I not? Uh, again, these are choices. Energy, energy. I mean, am, am, am I plugged in? Am I ready? Did I, oh, I didn't eat today. Oh, I didn't get my sleep last night. Well, that's a choice. You know, that's poor decisions. Uh, energy, do you bring that energy? Do you bring uh, positive or negative? You know, body language. Is my body resisting? Is my body negative? And, you know, Am I agreeing or am I saying, I don't want to do this? The, these, all this, that body language is powerful. You know, you come to a bench and you do have body language. It, it'll affect whether your team believes you're going to be successful or not. You got to come in and say, hey, give me the ball. I got this. Or, hey, throw it here. I'm ready. Or, hey, we got this. We can get this stop. I mean, you see that body language shows that you, whether you believe or not. Uh, passion. Do you have a passion for what you're doing? If you just rather be out there fishing or out watching a movie than being out there, it's going to show. So it, you have to have a passion for what you're doing, and and then uh, do uh, being prepared. You know, are you prepared? Ooh, that's that's this talks about a little bit of mentally uh, work and preparing and spending time and in the summer or in the weight room, th- things like that. And then being coachable. Uh, are you coachable? Are you willing to listen and submit to to what the coach has? Uh, that one there is is something that you uh, uh, you better have. You probably won't be playing. You know, you won't, don't agree with a coach. Well, sometimes they make mistakes. Sometimes they they got their own way. You you know, until you're in that position, you better submit, or you probably won't get a lot of opportunity. And then your attitude. This is the uh, the part right here that uh, I've been talking about in the last few sessions. One other thing here was to do uh, doing extra. Oh, doing extra, doing extra. That right there will take you a lot of places. Do you put in that extra time? You put in the extra work. Do you, are you extra prepared? Uh, do the extra, and it'll take you on over the top. And then the attitude, though. The attitude. I've been speaking on it for a long time here, the last few weeks or sessions. And attitude takes all of these things. An attitude gets you on time. An attitude has your work ethic. Attitude brings effort. An attitude brings positive energy. An ad- a positive attitude brings body language. It says yes. An attitude has a passion about it. It does the extra. A positive attitude is prepared. A positive attitude is coachable. So these are things you can do. You do all these things and then you don't like what's going on, you might have something you can say. But otherwise, until you do this, this is what you need to do in any program, any school, under any system, uh, before you're ever going to see a team be successful. This is what's necessary. So take these things and, and let them become a part of your mindset and your life. And uh, they'll help you in sports also. They'll help you in school, your education, your family, and in your life.